Hey guys, my name is Avikat and in this video, I'll be creating a Java program to find whether a character is a vowel or not using switch statements. So let's start with the program. So over here, I've already written the basic format of every Java program. So started with import java.util.scanner, then class, then public static void main, followed by scanner sc equals to new scanner which is used to gather input from the user okay so to start off i will first create a character variable uh, so char c now i will write the print statement to collect input from the user so system dot out dot print ln and within the quotation i will say enter a character okay now to store this character in this character variable over here i will simply write c is equal to sc dot next and then dot char at zero so basically the dot next function extracts the user input in the form of a string and then the char at zero extracts the first character of the entire string that's inputted by the user so now that this value has been stored in this character variable c over here i can begin writing my switch cases so first i'll begin by writing the switch keyword and within the brackets, I will write the name of the expression, which is C, which is the name of the variable. Now I'll write the curly braces and within this, I'll start writing my cases. So in order for a character to be a vowel, it needs to be either A, E, I, O or U, both in capital and in lowercase characters. So first I'll write the code for capital letters and then I'll simply copy that code and write the same for lowercase characters. The first thing I'll do is write case and here in single quotes, I will say A, capital A, which is going to be the first vowel. Now I'll write a colon and right below it, I'll just write case, capital E, and I'll repeat the same for all the other vowels. Okay, so these are the first five vowels in capital letters. Now I'll just copy this. I'll paste it down. But over here, I'll just replace the capital letters with their corresponding lowercase alphabets. So here, this is done. Okay, so basically writing all these cases one after the other without any separation is the same as writing these conditions in an if statement, but using the or operator. So if I had to write this using an if statement, I would have said if c double equal to a or if c double equal to e or if c double equal to i and so on okay so over here i will use the or operator which means that if the character's value is either a e i or whatever other vowels there are then it would print out uh, the character is a vowel however when you have to write it using the switch case this is how you have to write it. However, this would still give you the same output as writing it in this way using if statements. So I'll delete this and let's continue with the program and I'll show you the output at the end. Okay, so now that this part is over, I will write my print statement. So system.out.println and here I'll say vowel semicolon and here I'll write break indicating that this part has ended. Now I'll have to write default which acts as my else condition and here I'll simply write not a vowel. Okay, so now that this program is over, I'll just compile it and let's check the output. So void main, enter a character. Let's say capital E. Here, it shows me that it's a vowel. Now let me check the output again. Enter a character. This time, let me put lowercase o. Again, it shows me that it's a vowel. Let's check the output one more time. This time, I'll put another character. So let's say t. Here, it shows me that it's not a vowel. So yeah, that is all for this video. If you want the code, it will be available on my website avigatgupta.com so make sure you check it out um, other than that if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section down below and i will try my best to answer them as soon as possible and that is all for this video guys i hope you learned something new and if you did please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and see you later bye